good morning today is sunday may 8th 2022 it's mother's day today to all the mothers out there i hope that you have an absolutely amazing and special mother's day and that you feel so loved and so appreciated anyhow today is um day number 119 in my fasting journey Yesterday I weighed in at 165.8 pounds and this morning I am at 165.2 pounds. I have lost six tenths of a pound since yesterday and a total of 53.8 pounds since the start of my fasting journey. If you've seen my videos from the past few days, then you know that I am so excited to get to 164 even. What's special about 164 is that is the halfway mark in my fasting journey, so it's a huge milestone for me. And as of today, I am 1.2 pounds away. So I am so close. It's just a matter of days before I get to 164, but I'm actually not sure when I will get there because I have a refeed scheduled. So I am doing rolling 72s right now. I am in round 22 and literally like seconds ago, I got the notification from my fasting app that round 22 is complete and that I can have a refeed but I'm not gonna have my refeed until tomorrow afternoon. And the reason is because my brother and I are going to have a belated Mother's Day meal with our mom tomorrow. And I wanna be a part of the meal. I don't wanna like just sit there sipping, you know, my electrolyte water while my mom and brother are eating. I actually want to eat with them. So that's why I am extending my fast out for another day. And the, I'm not sure what I'm having for my refeed tomorrow. The last time I talked to my mom and brother, um, we were leaning toward ordering from P.F. Chang's. And um, so for refeeds, I'm kind of focusing my refeeds this, these days on low carb meals, like meat, vegetables, and low sugar fruits. And um, I looked at the menu for P.F. Chang's, I just glanced at it and I didn't really see a lot of low carb options for me, so I may have to up my carb intake tomorrow, but I will take another look at the menu in greater detail today and see if there is something that I can have that will like fill me up and like, you know, keep me going th through round 23 of rolling 72s. And so that is on the agenda for today. So today is before and after picture Sunday. I have posted my before and after pictures in the thumbnail for today's video. And as you can see in my after picture, I am fully clothed. And the reason is because it was a request from my mom. So my mom is so conservative. She does not believe that I should be like revealing my body. And um, also she does not like when I wear like tight clothing. So um, she asked, you know, just for today, if I can, you know, have my after picture with, you know, my clothes on. And so that's why I am fully clothed in today's picture. And I tried to wear as form fitting of an outfit as I could so that you can kind of get an idea of what my body is looking like. Um, and I'm not sure if you can like really tell from the pictures, um, but it seems like these days my body is focusing its attention on the love handle area. And so um, like my sides have gotten like really smaller. I was actually trying to, you know, grab some of the fat on my sides today with my hands. And it seems like there was a lot less fat in my hands as there used to be. So. That is um, definitely good. I'm making progress. I am looking forward to, you know, when my body focuses its attention on getting the fat from the front part of my belly area. Um, I did try to grab the fat there this morning and it just like seems like there is just so much fat there. Like right now that is where all of my weight is and so I am definitely looking forward to my body shifting its focus to the front. Um, and I do notice that, you know, something is happening in the front. It's very small, but it seems like my stomach is getting, you know, flatter and flatter as the weeks go by. So something is definitely happen happening there, just not as quickly as I would like. But anyways, when I post my before and after pictures for next Sunday, um, we'll be 
business back as usual. I will wear my sports bra so that you can, you know, see what's going on. But um, the thing I want to talk about today is kind of like related to my picture is my mom's like, why do I even bother to post these pictures in the first place? And the reason, there's two reasons. First of all, I can get up here and tell you that I am 165.2 pounds and that I'm five foot three, but you don't know what that means until you see it. Um, I just, you know, you can't conceptualize what that means. And so that's why I post my pictures so you can see, you know, what's happening with my body. And I also post my pictures for myself as well. Um, so like I can see the numbers going down on the scale like every day, but I can't see that happening in the mirror and that's probably because I see myself every day and so I don't see any progress when I look at myself in the mirror. The only time that I see progress is when I see the before and after picture and then I'm like, yeah, something's happening. And so that's why I do before and after picture Sundays. And so um, another thing is that I, when I was gaining weight, I could see the weight going up on the scale, but I couldn't actually see, you know, the weight going up in the mirror. It was only until I saw pictures of myself that I realized that I've got a serious problem here and I need to lose weight. And so taking pictures is so important on a weight loss journey. It helps you see the progress that you're making and it inspires you and encourages you to continue on. And so that's why I do my before and after pictures. And so um, I'm gonna kind of wrap up today's video, but I just kind of like wanna like mention that my mom said that I've given her one of the best Mother's Day gifts that she's ever gotten. And that's me, you know, making the steps to get this weight off my body. It's me like trying to make an effort to like eat better and to eat smaller portions because she says it absolutely broke her heart to see me at 219 pounds where I was 110 pounds overweight. Um, it was so hard for her to see me like struggle to like get around. Um, it was like just really difficult for her to see me go up a flight of stairs and have to like sit down and catch my breath. And um, on two occasions, I've sprained my left ankle. And at the time, I was 219 pounds and had an extra 110 pounds to carry. And as a result, I was not able to like walk around with just the cast. I had to like use a cane because there was just too much weight and my ankle could not handle that. And that was really scary for my mom to see me, you know, hobbling around with the cane. And so she said this is the best Mother's Day gift she has ever gotten. And she is so thankful for all the progress that I have made. And, um, she is so proud of me. Um, she's never seen me exert this kind of discipline before. And so she is definitely proud. And she says that next Mother's Day, she's hoping that the gift that I give her will be the gift of exercise. I have been trying to, you know, start up a regular exercise regimen, but I just have not been able to do that as of yet. And so I am getting there. I'm going to like, you know, um, get better at exercise. Um, it's just not something that I'm used to. I've never had to like exercise a day in my life. And so that's why I am struggling to, you know, exercise with consistency, but that's the mother next mother's day gift that she is wanting. So, um, anyhow, that's my video for today. I am going to go hang out with my mom and I hope that you have an absolutely amazing Sunday. I will be back tomorrow. Take care. Bye.